Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with the Tevika for August read. Start from the 15th through the 21st of August 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of Pisces. So Pisces, let's see what is coming up for you for the 30th of August time. I will be adding color cards and oracle cards and um, messages from your person in this reading. So stay tuned. And before I dive into the read, uh, let me remind you, it is a general read. It may not, may not resonate with everyone out there, so always take the signs and messages that resonate and read the rest. For person reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see, what is coming up for you in uh, the week of August time? 15 through 21st of August. Let's begin. Pisces, what is coming up for you? What is happening in this week for you? Seven of Pentacles, Three of Swords. I do see you walking away from something or someone, which is uh, uh, Queen of uh, Pentacles. Okay, I really see that. Um, you are choosing to put an effort that you might have been doing in a relationship at work front. Um, maybe you're feeling kind of uh, um, unappreciative at the, at you know that situation uh, where you are right now, and you feel like you know you don't need to do that effort any longer, and you really feel like you need to move on. You really need to um, get over it uh, because because the effort that you are putting is not being recognized by the higher ups if it's a work situation. And by your specific someone, it's a love life situation. Um, I feel like you know you feel like you know the effort that you have been putting into a connection has been adding nothing good in your life, has been adding nothing beautiful in your life. It's just going to make you feel like you you, you don't want to do that any further. So you might be giving up on a connection. You might be ending a connection, um, which has been adding nothing good in your life, and it's just adding stress negativity to your life you would be ready to move forward move on with your life with you know without that specific someone without that specific situation you want to end that situation so you could have the stability that you desire in your life without the situation i feel like for majority of you if you are in a relationship too that had become so toxic there could have been a third party situation for some of you as well uh, in terms of their family involved, in terms of another person involved, but yes, there is a third party situation, um, and I feel like you know, which which has been kind of uh, making things even more uh, unclear to you. What shall you do in this situation? Shall you wait? Shall you not? You might have been asking your person as well the same question: Do you want me to move on or not? But because they are not giving you any clarity that can add to stability or inner peace for you. So what you're choosing to do is you are choosing to leave that behind. You're choosing to walk away. You're choosing to end this because you believe it's all in your hands right now. You might have sensed uh, or thought about it the other way around, but now you feel like, you know, no, it's all in your hand. You can control everything. So what you're choosing to do is cut it off. You're choosing to cut it off. So it's no longer a thing which can affect you in any negative way. So you are choosing a different path, which is going to bring you the stability, which is going to make you feel happy, which is going to make you feel, um, no, you can, you, your life is perfect. So that vibe is what you are working towards. You will, you must start working towards your career goals. You must start focusing on other areas of your life. You are not going to choose to stick around in this situation to a negative situation where where you are just feeling lack of uh, things in your life which can be love, work, or whatever. So you are going to go for something which is making you feel abundant, which is going to make you feel confident, which is going to make you feel worthy of things. You want that. And that's exactly what uh, what you're choosing over anything else right now. Let's see one more card here. Nine of Wands. I feel like you, know, you are putting your guards up to that person's situation. You don't want to deal with that now. Now, is it a momentarily change in you or is it a long-term change in you? That's we are yet to you know, see. But at least for now, for this week time, you're definitely detaching yourself from a specific person. On either deck, we do have the two of pentacles. I feel like, you know, for the majority of you, deep down, you would still be having your confusion. Shall I wait? Shall I not? But at least for now, you are definitely pulling yourself away. I feel like, you know, it's not going to be an easy decision for majority of you. But yes, this is the perfect thing for you to do because 
as long as it is making you feel stable, confident, good, positive, it, it added something good in your life, go ahead for that. Uh, and that's what all matters right now. Um, but yes, I really don't see you moving on to a new relationship. Right now, maybe it's time for you to pull away and heal yourself, which you are going to be doing. Because with the hangman coming next and the five of cups coming next and then the six of pentacles coming next, I feel like you are, for majority of you, you are surrendering your love life to the divine. You are doing that on purpose. Because you don't want to chase a person who doesn't value you, who doesn't love you. So what you're doing is, you are trying to kind of like, you know, get over a situation which was adding nothing good in your life. And that's the way to go about it. That's what you are trying to go about it. There has been a um, tough time making that decision. And there will be a tough time making that decision. But at the same time, you will understand that this decision is a must right now. You know, with the current situation, with the current, you know, ongoing uh, issues, that's must to happen. So that's what you're choosing and that's what you're going for. And as you surrender to the divine, you will start seeing stability coming back. So I do see you detached. I do see you getting healed. I do see you feeling better. I do see that the things, as you start healing yourself, you will see that something quickly is shifting for the better in your love life, in your work life. You might see opportunities coming your way. You might see opportunities and love to move on with. You might see the past person returning back to you, asking you for, for a reconciliation. But that's not going to happen in this week time. I do see this week is going to be the time where, where you are basically trying to heal yourself from any, any, any uh, wounds that this person might have given you. So that's what is happening in this week time for you. Let's see the oracle messages here. Let's see what the divine has to add to the read for you guys. What is your oracle guidance for this week time? We have our first card. Nothing will come out of this situation. I feel like that's something that you might have been feeling all this time. Uh, when you were trying hard to make things work, you, you are going to start seeing or feeling that nothing is going to change in the situation. Maybe it's how it become like a belief for you. They will never change. They will never do this. They will never do that. Now, in a situation like this, when you have firm faith around it or firm belief around it, that it's never going to work out. Trust me, it will never work out. If you start believing that, no, they will never change. Trust me, they, they will never change. So that belief has cemented now. And it is important if you really want to move something in your love life, this has to end. This connection has to end now, straight away. Like, you know, nothing will definitely come out of it. Why? Because that has been a belief for you that they will never change. They will never commit. They will not do this because you have been affirming that for years, for months, for times. Now, what, what, what are you expecting out of it? Nothing will happen. Obviously, nothing will happen. Now, the best thing for you to do is cut off that's what is going to work out for you be that with the same person be that with somebody new that's going to still work out for you working on this connection will not work out for you because that belief has strengthened a lot to the point where it has manifested now do you 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 are not happy with that manifestation that's okay you just need to move on um this connection will never change at least for now as you heal as you move forward there is a strong possibility of it to change. Like, have you ever seen or experienced, like, you know, when you have moved on, the, the people from the past comes back to you, wanting you more. Why? Because you don't have any attachment to that person any longer and you're not craving for them to come back to you. When you are single, you're looking for love, you never find love until unless you have given up on it. Why? Because your lack is not letting it happen. When you're looking for it, you're going out, meeting different people, it never works out that way. Once you stop like in chasing people, then people start approaching you. Then you feel like, oh my God, I'm not even interested now. So that is exactly what is happening in your relationship with this person. Nothing will come out of the situation is your new belief around it. And it is not something that happened now. It has been a belief for quite some time for majority of you, maybe for years. You believe that they will never change, they will never prioritize you, this and that. And if you have been affirming that to yourself, yes, that is happening now. Now what should be done is you just need to let it go because it is a firm belief for you now. You don't believe firmly that they love you, they want to be with you, they want to marry you. No, you don't believe that. You never said that to yourself, did you? Now it's happening. This is what you have been saying. It's happening now. Just let it go. Let it be. Try to manifest um, your life partner. 
focus on <clears throat> their energy rather than manifesting this person it is not gonna work out manifesting this person who you have been telling they will never commit they will never do this they will never do that they, they will not so just let this person like drop them off your list right now because if you focus on your life partner yes if this person is the one that is just time to come they will show up but you should not have any expectation from them just open the doors of like you know abundance to yourself right now as you're choosing to walk away from this person and see your life changing let's see one more card here your dreams need a practical plan for some of you could be dealing with the taurus energy i feel like you know, the divine really wants you to know where you have been doing things wrong work towards getting rid of the mental physical emotional blocks and then go ahead with your life whatever it is that you desire intend for it affirm for it stay positive around it and that's the way to go about it you could manifest the negativity that you were repeating to yourself you can definitely you know manifest the positivity that you would uh you know still wish to uh you know uh, manifest in your life so just do that let's see what color is going to be lucky for you for this uh, week time what color can be lucky for you for this week time what color could be lucky for you for this week time Indigo, improve your vision. Number 40. 40 could be a significant number for some of you. Indigo color is going to be lucky. It's a mix of purple and pink. Then we have blue. Activate your healing power number 37. For some of you, it could be age 37 and 40. Could be the age of your person or vice versa. But yes, these two colors, uh, blue and indigo, uh, shade of purple, blue, is going to be lucky for you in this um, uh in the sweet time plus the divine really wants you to improve your vision improve your sight improve your way of looking at things right now and try to activate your healing power because that's what you need right now the most let's see some messages from your person let's see what do they wish to say here just one message probably one message from your person right now what do they wish to say I need more time to think through and figure things out for myself. So let this person have their time. Just just drop them off. Tell them that you can have your time forever. Like, you know, you don't want to wait on for things to happen. Wait on for things to change. So just let them have the time that they wanted or that they have been craving for. And just drop them off. <clears throat> okay, two cards wants to come up. Out with the old and with the new. Uh, heaven is showing you a sign that it's time to move on in a new direction. Often this is because you are not happy and feel a lack of purpose in your life. This is a wake-up call to make changes that match your heart's desires and spiritual truths. Listen to that intuition that you have been fall, you know, having and you're not falling through. Uh, out with the old and with the new. You have to just let it happen. Try to pull away from anything that has been keeping you stuck that has been making you feel lack of it it's time to move towards abundance helper of emotion uh romance blooms and you find yourself falling in love gifts of lovers love letters and poems read aloud are all in your future marriage proposals weddings and past life connection are possible someone new who is romantic dreamy and emotional may enter in your life the person could be an artist who is an uh, idealist about love so maybe somebody that uh, that is going to be exactly how you always wanted your person to be could come in your life as you detach yourself from this person. Just just allow the new beautiful energy enter in your life, especially for those of you who have kind of given up on love in a, in a way where you feel like this person didn't love you. Maybe you're not worthy of it. Just know that this person is nothing. Like you know, just just value yourself more. Um, nobody can tell you how to love you like you know or you're worthy of love or not you decide it for yourself and maybe in this connection that you've held uh and maybe you could not tell yourself that how worthy you are and you could not teach this person to treat you the right way so it's time for you to understand that for yourself and do the right thing to make things happen um let's see uh last card of the week let's see what it has to add Downloads and understanding, truth is being revealed, deep insights are coming from heaven and astral realm. It's very important right now for you to listen to the divine and be open to receive the guidance that it has coming, you know, it is showing you right now towards the right path forward. So yeah, that's pretty much it's coming up for you for this week. If it was of help, 
do like share and subscribe and yeah till i do the next read for you guys take care and bye